Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a PS Viewer 2 update video. This one is all about the new Fresnel lenses that are going to be in the PS Viewer 2 headset. Now we did get confirmation recently thanks to the official PS Viewer 2 website that Sony put up that the PS Viewer 2 is indeed going to be using Fresnel lenses. Now these do come with some advantages in terms of being lightweight and whatnot and most of the major headsets are actually using these. However, one big downside of Fresnel lenses is apparently god rays. They can introduce this artifact in situations where there's a high contrast between maybe black and white. There's streaks of light that kind of come from the lenses and that can be distracting. It can ruin the image quality to a degree and it doesn't matter how many pixels or how high the resolution is. You can't fix that because it's a hardware issue with the lenses. So this is something I was a little bit concerned about with PSVR 2 when they confirmed that it was Fresnel lenses. But thanks to this article from Upload VR, which has discovered a patent, which was filed by Sony all the way back in 2020, which isn't that long ago really. It looks like Sony has something in store up its sleeve to combat God rays. So I'm just going to read this article, the important bits anyway. And this is, as I said, Road to VR and it was written by Ben Lang. So we learned last week that PSVR 2 will use friends little lenses, which have a range of advantages over the traditional lenses, but also come with a big downside, God rays. However, Sony may have a trick up its sleeve that could give the headset's Fresnel lenses a big advantage over the competition. So, are we forever doomed to suffer God rays in VR headsets with Fresnel lenses? Maybe not. And PlayStation 2, although I assume he means PlayStation VR 2, might be the first headset to truly address the problem. A patent granted to Sony in 2020 proposes a method of manufacturing the Fresnel lens which can suppress God rays. The patent describes adding a lice absorbing portion to the surface of the Fresnel lens that don't actually contribute to the overall shape of the lens. This would, in theory, reduce God rays by preventing light from being scattered by those parts of the lens. The patent shows several arrangements for the light absorbing portion, both on the surface of the lens and embedded within us. So here's the actual patent itself. Now don't ask me what the hell is going on here. I'm guessing all these little lines, these little dots, these are the parts that maybe scatter the light or something like that to prevent the, the god rays. I'm not an optometrist, but I trust Sony have done their homework here. Sony's patent proposes several different methods for manufacturing such a lens. One of which involves applying a mask, which blocks light, over the entire lens surface, and then using some kind of exposure technique, removing only portion, only the portion, where light is desired to pass through. Another method proposes starting with a light absorbing material already shaped, and then forming the lens around it so that the ridges align just right with the light absorbing structure. This is another method, I guess. Uh, we won't know, obviously, which method they go for until it's actually out. As ever, big companies like Sony file lots of patents and many of them never become products. There's no telling whether the methods described are even practical for mass manufacturing, so it's tough to say if this might end up in PSV or 2, but the option is on the table. So yeah, that is important to mention. We could actually end up with shitty Fresnel lenses that still have God rays just because they've made these patents doesn't mean these patents are going to actually be a reality, uh, which is always the case anytime we're talking about patents which is, you know, a lot. It's unlikely that we'll get any more details on PSVR 2 lenses before the company reveals the final design, which is expected sometime this year. So this was a good article from Ben Lang over at Road to VR, and I will leave the source for that in the description, so you can check it out yourself if you want to go into more details. Also worth noting recently is that there's another story going around that Sony has not finalized the eye tracking system in the PSVR 2 and instead they've reached out to this other company this Toby company which I've never heard of before but apparently they got you know they specialize in this kind of thing and they're very good uh, so the word on the street is, is that they're in negotiations with them over this which seems very bizarre to me because how is this kind of thing not finalized I understand it may be software based Therefore, it's possible it could be added in a patch later on if it's not negotiated in time for the launch of the PSVR 2 headsets. But in terms of game developers developing a game where you're focusing on eye tracking and foveated rendering, if the eye tracking isn't working, the foveated rendering can't work, and then your design is kind of gimped until this is confirmed. I don't know, it's all up in the air. On that one, I maybe should do a whole video on that one, or maybe we'll wait for a live stream and we'll go into more detail on it. But anyway, this one is mainly about these Fresnel lenses. This is The Fresnel lenses was the big concern I had. 
Of course, now this is a new concern about the eye tracking and what's going on there, but let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Let me know what you think about these Fresnel lenses. Are you concerned? Do you think Sony, you know, they've got this, Sony do have a reputation of, you know, excellent hardware workarounds. If you look at PSVR 1, they had the subpixels, the RGB subpixels that really minimize the screen door effect compared to other higher resolution headsets. So Sony do have like a lot of expertise in that area. Anyway, thanks again for watching and thank you Decepticon for letting me use your music in all of my videos. You can find him in the description also. And with that, I will end this video. Please stay moist. We're getting closer and closer to PSVR 2 every day. We're inching closer to us, okay? Bye-bye.